Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown aka RBT and welcome to the series intro of Project Mariota. Before we get into anything else for this first episode, I want to apologize that it took so long for the series intro to come out, but this happened. Man down, where you from? Sorry that I left so abruptly, but sometimes it's nice just to take some time off, but here we are back to the grind with episode 1 of Project Mariota. And also this might be a little controversial, if you remember in the series finale of Tebow Time, I left you guys with a poll to vote with like 5 different options who you wanted me to use for this new Road to Glory series. And about a day after that video got released, I said, I think it was that Friday or Saturday night at 12pm, that's when the voting was going to end, and when that ended, Mariota was in the lead. I should have took a screen cap at that time and it's really weird because I went out of town and came back and right before I started to record this I went and checked the poll and Michael Vick was in the lead. I don't know how that could have possibly happened because I don't think many people were voting lately but I have to stay true to my word and count Mariota as the winner because he was leading at the time when I said the voting ended. So hopefully that doesn't upset too many people. I know a lot of people wanted me to use Mariota. Hopefully you'll still enjoy the series although maybe I didn't get to do who everybody wanted me to use but with all that said guys here we are episode one of project mariota probably going to be my last road to glory series for madden 15 hopefully we can finish this out a little bit before madden 16 and hopefully for the first time ever in any of my road to glories we can hopefully hopefully finally win the super bowl and of course this first episode is going to be a little bit longer than the regular episodes will be because for the new people watching my road to glory series for the first time i do have to explain the rules before we get into our first game of the series and if you are new to my road to glory concept series the rules might seem kind of complicated but after a couple episodes things get very very simple and if by the end of this episode you're still confused go watch a couple of my previous road to glory episodes i have tebow time a road to glory i did with tim tebow and reviving RG3, a Road to Glory I did with Robert Griffin III, which was actually my first Road to Glory series. Go check out a couple of those episodes and it'll start to make sense very soon. But for you new guys, the way that this series works is that we start with one player we base our Road to Glory around. Obviously, this one's going to be Marcus Mariota, and he's surrounded by a full entire bronze team. And the goal throughout this series is to upgrade each position all the way from a bronze to an elite tier and once that is done the team's complete but every single position has to be elite. The way we get upgrades is our performance in games throughout our season. A passing or rushing touchdown by Marcus Mariota is two upgrades. Every 100 yards Mariota accumulates in every game is one upgrade so if he gets 200 yards total in one game that will be two upgrades. 300 yards off obviously three upgrades. If a player that is not Marcus Mariota scores a touchdown, that counts as one upgrade. A turnover from Marcus Mariota is a negative upgrade. So a lost fumble or an interception is a negative upgrade. Every time we win a game is one upgrade. And every time we reach a milestone within the season, that's an extra upgrade. And those milestones are avoiding relegation, clinch a playoff spot, or clinch a first round bye. And if we do make the playoffs, every playoff win is two upgrades. But this is our third Road to Glory series, and we have yet to win a playoff game. We finally made the playoff in the last series and hopefully we can improve on that and actually win a playoff game in this series. So you might be kind of lost in regards to what upgrades actually do and how we use upgrades but every one upgrade that we get we can improve one position by one tier. So let's say we have two upgrades to use from a game and we want to upgrade our left tackle position. We can upgrade two here which would bring us from a bronze tier to a silver tier and from a silver tier to a gold tier. So every tier you go up we have to spend one upgrade but we don't have to use use him on the same position every time. If we had two upgrades, I could have used one upgrade on the left tackle position, bringing him from a bronze to a silver, and same with the left guard, bringing him from a bronze to a silver. And once a player is the gold tier, to go to an elite tier is one upgrade, but if the player costs over 50,000 coins, that's an extra upgrade. So technically, if I'm going from a gold to an elite that costs more than 50k, that's two upgrades. And if a player I upgrade to is over 100k, that's another upgrade. And then after that, it's every 100k a player's worth. Although, I think the most expensive player that that we've ever gotten is like 200k but after a player is actually worth 100k once he's worth 200k 300k then those start to count as an extra upgrade but with the limited amount of coins that we have to build this whole entire team i'm not going to be putting in too many crazy expensive players but i'll try my best to actually put some insane players in the series and like i said for the series to end the whole entire team has to be fully elite and the backups for each position has to be gold players and how I do that is once the team gets the fully elite if I want the backups for a specific position to be gold I can just use one upgrade to make a position's backups fully gold and once the team is fully elite we have to finish out that season and however that season finishes out 
that will be the end of the series and hopefully in this series it will end in a Super Bowl win so I know that was a lot for you new guys if you're used to my Road to Glory series you're probably just getting bored and want me to get into a game but before we get into a game I hope I covered everything if not I'm sure I'll let you know later on or in the description of this video or I'll leave a comment or let you know next episode it's just a lot of information to take in but trust me guys you'll get used to it after a couple episodes but this is the team we're starting off with on offense. Everybody but Mariota is the bronze tier. And also, we are using long pass chemistry on offense and run stuff chemistry on defense. And the way it works is every player that I use in the series has to be one of those chemistries. Obviously, every offensive player has to be long pass chemistry and every defensive player has to be run stuff chemistry. I do that so you guys will see new players every time I do a new Road to Glory series. And I won't be using the same exact players every time, but this is the offense right now. Obviously, it's going to be tough because at this point in Ultimate Team, pretty much everybody has a fully elite team. So I'm going against pretty good players. I'm in a decent division with this team versus fully elite teams. So you have to be expecting some pretty bad games the first few episodes because if you remember last series I went through like a three game stretch three episode stretch where I didn't even get a single upgrade the struggle can be very real at the beginning of the series but after I hit that initial bump things are smooth selling from there I remember I had 15 upgrades per episode just out of nowhere so you just have to be patient in this series but hopefully from the things that I've learned, I can play a little bit better so we won't go full episodes without getting upgrades. But this is the full offense, and this is going to be the full defense as of right now. And it's going to be really tough. Really, really freaking tough. And this is going to be the specialist. And I don't have, I wonder why Danny Cole is a 37 overall at punt and kick returner. He has really good speed. That's why I picked him up. I thought he was going to be a good returner. I'm still using him there, but I'm kind of worried because he's a freaking 37 overall. But yeah, guys, we're about to jump into our first game of the series. As you see, we are a 67 overall. Hopefully, after this game, we'll have a couple upgrades to hopefully boost that overall. But we are starting this series off with a win on our regular season schedule because that's how I had to end off last series. But I mean, I'll take the win to start off the series because it's going to be difficult to avoid relegation this first season. I think I've relegated twice throughout my Road to Glory series, and hopefully it won't happen this time. But with all that said, this video is probably already about 7-8 minutes long by by now we're gonna jump into our first game and probably to avoid the episode being way too long I might just show you the main highlights of this game depending on how long the episode is by now but enough talking let's get into our first game of Project Mariota here we go guys the first play of Project Mariota we're gonna play action this guy's team is probably so much better than mine so much better than mine probably uh oh Mariota make the throw in that's how things are gonna go boys that's how things are gonna go I just have to stay composed when I start to get mad that's when I start to make dumb mistakes and lose by like 9,000 points so just gotta stay composed and just gotta realize it's gonna be a struggle if I can realize it's gonna be a struggle and accept the fact I won't get as mad Russell Shepard out of the slot decent seven yard play go third down and three let's pick this up this would be huge man absolutely huge Mariota, just run it run it make it oh god oh god we get it first down this team is just very 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 bad but here we go oh god yep that's gonna be the problem what's going on here what's going on oh i should have oh god i didn't see you throw it throw it away throw it away jesus christ man well it's barely two minutes into the game and we're already going to our first full vertical play of the series and we have our tight end running the crossing route oh god Oh god, is he gonna he, Oh I should have thrown that so, oh my god. Oh my oh my Oh yep sacked Well I'm actually very scared just to see what this guy's team looks like. I'm very scared. Uh he has Mark Ingram, Alshon Jeffrey, Tony o Brown. Who's that a quarterback? I can't is that Tannehill? I can't tell. Oh god. Oh lord. Come on! <laughs> I, I just gotta expect it. Yep, it's Ron Tannehill, but I, I just gotta expect those kind of plays. It's, it's just, it's just gonna happen. Oh goodness gracious, guys! Goodness gracious! What's, what's going on? No way! No way! Oh, big hit! But of course he hangs on to it. Another play action pass. Another play action. And gosh dang it! Oh no! No! Di oh. Well, he's gonna score first drive. He keeps running play action, so maybe if I can bring some pressure from the corners, we can actually get a sack here. That's probably the only way we're going to be able to get pressure. And, oh, I thought I, no way, man. I, he was this close, this freaking close to getting sacked. Here it is, boys. 
here it is. What is my, what is my player doing? What? Anybody want to explain? Anybody want to explain why the guy I was using decided to run all the way back to our freaking locker room? Is it just me? Or was he in the freaking locker room? Come on, somebody get open over the middle. We have got to get some... Oh, my. Oh, my. Throw it away. Gee, this offensive line is just... It's impossible, guys. It's so bad. Third down and sin. Just no mistakes. I don't worry about getting upgrades. If I lose, I lose. But I just have to worry about making the team better. And I can only do that through upgrades. So, no mistakes. Oh, A. A over the middle. Yep. And... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You, what is... Oh. Oh, I, I can't. I, it's not my fault. That's not my fault. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle, guys. It is going to be a grind. See, what is my guy doing? I'm not controlling him. I'm not doing that. He's going into our locker room, man. Hey, nice play, though, from Conrad, my boy. Why are my safeties playing so deep, dude? Third down and 11, so if we can stop him, that would be huge. He's probably going to get a field goal regardless. But oh, See, he's got... Okay. Okay, he needs to chill, for real. No way. No... My linebacker needs to chill. He needs to chill going to the locker room. Like, I'm not pre I'm not controlling him back at all. He's just going to the freaking locker room by himself. I've never seen that before, ever. Boku, are you gonna- are you gonna stay, you know, kind of in the box a little bit? Or are you gonna run to the locker room? It's a touchdown. There it is. <sighs> the grind is gonna be real, boys. The grind is gonna be real. We just have to worry about getting upgrades because we're just too outmatched. Play action passes are probably the worst thing to be doing right now, but we just need to slowly but surely move the ball. Maybe Russell Shepard can get open over the middle here, and he's open, and he makes the catch kind of in traffic, but a first down's a first down. In motion, tight end's not open. He is a little bit. Make the, please make the catch. He kept, be, he kept his foot in bounds. Let's go. Nice little drive we have going here. You guys are still wondering. I'm still running the 49ers playbook, and we're going to try our first read option of the series and see how this works. He bit in, he bit in, we have room, we have room, Mariota, Mariota, the, okay, we got the first down, oh, he's injured, <laughs> sick, try running the ball with C. Airwood, the former Notre Dame great, please, just don't fumble, please, just don't fumble, that's all I'm worried about, hey, we got a decent chunkage of yards right there, here it is, boys, third down and five, come on, boys, oh, God, uh-oh, uh-oh, go, 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 we got it, no, we don't, uh-oh, no, fumble, pick it up, ah, what happened, what even, Fourth down and four. What do we do? A field goal is not going to help us because we're not going to win. We need to just shoot for the upgrades. I think we should go for this. Like I said, I'm just going for it because we just need to focus on getting upgrades. A field goal is not going to help us because we're not going to win this game. 99% we're not going to win this game. But let's just try to get the upgrades right here. A, A, make the catch. Here. I'm out. I'm freaking out. Oh. This is where he starts to throw it deep and he beats every single one of my secondary players because they are awful. Yep, here it is. Or maybe it's gonna be a pick, maybe? Yes! What? This oh my god, can you can you bring it back? Can you uh oh? We have a chance to score! Oh my Davis! I think it's Will Davis, I believe, a bronze cornerback, coming up with a huge pick. See, what is he? Why? Why are you in the freaking locker room? I'm not. E My controller must be messed up or something. I mean, there's no other explanation. Sack him. Boom! All flipping Ryan Kenny Hill. But I, I need to teach, you know, my secondary players and my middle linebacker to uh, stay in your freaking position and don't go to the locker room early. All right, he's in the box this time, so that's a that's a good start. And my contact hurts because I don't know. Oh goodness! Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Just pick it! Boom, baby, use a pick. Moises Foku stayed in this position this time. Didn't go to the locker room early. We got the ball back, boys. Let's go. My tight end's probably gonna drop it right here, more than likely. Nope, he's not even gonna get open. I throw it to somebody. Throw it to somebody. A, a. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. He got it. What the frick? What the? What the frick? I don't. I'm out. The guy that's dropped that 15 passes catches that in triple coverage. I'm down. Second down and go, boys. Come on. Come on. Somebody. Somebody. Hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Mariota! Touch that with the free! Boom! I don't even know. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Marcus Mariota making some magic. 
our first touchdown of the series, Mariota's first touchdown of the series. That's two upgrades, boys, and we're only down by a touchdown? Let's freaking go! There he is, going back to the locker room. There he is. Oh, God, what, what's going on? Screen pass? Make the play? Oh, God, that's a first. You gotta be kidding me. So he audible so much, is like Peyton Manning. Oh, God, he's got a guy wide open, big hit, and he breaks the tackle, and... Yeah, 50 yard line. Interception right here. Cover the guy over the middle. He has a top. Oh, God. Come on. Make the. No, he's beat. He's beat bad. <sighs> there goes our chance. Had a comeback. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Having bad corners is like the worst thing you can possibly have with having a bad offensive line being a close second. But 21 to 7, boys. I don't think there's any hope for us. Careful with what I do here. There's no interceptions and oh, sacked. I can't. It's lagging. What is this? Well, it is third down and 21, and very, very confident that we're not going to get this. But you never know. Danny Colo! Oh, awful pass for Mariota. Awful pass. There he is, going back to the locker room. I mean, I don't understand. I honestly don't understand. Don't get it. We get the sack, though. Well, Ryan Tannehill gets hurt, and he brings in Ultimate Vic. That's uh, that's not a bad downgrade. And he's probably going to run all over us here. Second down and 14. Maybe we can throw a pick, though. That'd be very... Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Boom! Fumble! Yes! There we go! Johnson picks it up! Omar! Honestly, have no clue what that was. I've never seen anything like that before in my whole entire existence. And our tight end hangs on to it, gets hurt, but we get the first down. No mistakes, no mistakes. B was wide, though. A is wide, too! Make the catch! I Iguanagu! Iguanagu down to the five yard line, boys! Let's go! And if I score a touchdown, we, we have some type of chance. Some type of chance. Mariota into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown of the game. That's two more upgrades for Marcus Mariota for the rushing touchdown that makes four total from the game. And I don't want to jinx it, boys, but we're not out of it yet. Here we go, boys. Second and 15. Nothing deep. Please, nothing deep. I'm begging you. I'm I, Oh, God. Another sack. Oh, what was that? No way. No way. Moses Foyku sucks, man. What type of reaction was that? There's, there he is again. There he is again. Go back to the locker room. I'm supposed to be blitzing here. How are you supposed to blitz from the locker room? And he's running it. I mean, passing it. And it's going to be a big game. Sick. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Oh my. That was it. That was it right there. Gosh. Uh -uh. Come on. Nothing dumb here. Yes. Yes. Nate Edner. Oh my. Fourth down and 10. I think this. What is he gonna do? What? Is he gonna go for it or is he gonna kick the field goal? If he oh my. Oh my god. Miss this, please. It's right down the middle. Right down the gosh dang middle. We gotta score quick, boys. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Throw it away. Oh, jeez. I mean, just look at that. There's 17 guys in my butthole. I Third down and freaking 10. We gotta get it. It's just, it's just gotta, ha gotta happen. Gotta happen. Gotta happen. Oh, my. Oh, he was... I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh, my God. There it is. My fault. That was 100% my fault. 100% my fault. That's a downgrade for Mariota for the interception. 100% my fault. A was wide open, and that's the game, boys. That is the game. Why is he not running the ball? Why is this guy... Oh, my God. I don't even know what to think right now, honestly. Oh, God. Oh, wide open over the middle. Wide open. Oh, God. What's going on? Sack him. Kill him. No way. No. I don't... Uh-uh. 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 No. I'd love to see any realistic quarterback in the world... Make a throw doing a 360 across the field. 30-yard throw down the field as he does a 360 behind his back through his legs. Like, what the frick, man? There he is. I'm just let him do his thing. I'm just let you do your thing, Foku. I'm going to let you do your thing. Play deep safety. See? It can't be my controller because he just sits at deep safety. Like, what the frick, dude? I ain't never. I ain't never seen that before. There it is. 24 to 14, we lose. I thought we played good. This guy has a full elite freaking team. We have a full bronze team aside from Mariota. I thought we played pretty well. Key is though that at least we got some upgrades and let's go count them really quick. As you see right here, Marcus Mariota with 10 of 26, which is not that great, but you got to consider he had a ton of drops in that game. 134 yards, which counts as one upgrade. He had the one interception, so let's just go ahead and count that one out. 
but he did have the two rushing touchdowns with make four upgrades for the game. He had about 20 to 30 yards under 200 yards total for the game, which would have obviously gave us an extra upgrade, but I think it was about 170 yards total, which isn't too bad, but we do get four upgrades from this game, and let's go use them wisely. So with our four upgrades from this episode, I'm going to spread them out a pretty good bit. First of all, we're going to attack the offensive line because your offense in Ultimate Team is only as good as your offensive line is, and I'm not sure if I showed a lot of it in the editing, but our offensive line, Jesus Christ. It was disgustingly awful. So first of all, we're going to use one upgrade at the left tackle position. And this guy, we are using one upgrade from a bronze to a silver at the left tackle position. I'm going to try to make this upgrade section of the video all in one take because honestly, I hate editing this part of the section and it takes forever. So I'm going to try to do it in one take here. Ryan Schrader going to the silver left tackle. That is David Bakhtiari. 55 overall to a 68. That's a massive improvement right there. All his blocking stats are tremendously better. So welcome to the team. Hopefully he's a lot better slowly but surely have to improve this offensive line and the second upgrade is going to come at the center position once again from a bronze to a silver and that is going to be the center that is daniel kilgore and very good stats as well upgrade in every single category 72 overall this guy cost me 7,000 coins so he better be pretty good for a silver so that is our second upgrade and our last upgrade on offense and now we're gonna move over to defense hey I'm doing pretty good here have not stuttered once which is what I usually do but anyways gonna use our last two upgrades on defense first of all we're gonna upgrade the middle linebacker position like I told you guys even though I'm a Titans fan he's a Titans player we're using Marcus Mariota so it made sense to have him in the series but Jesus Christ I can't use a middle linebacker that likes to play free safety and likes to go in the gosh dang locker room throughout the game so Moises Foku is going to be upgraded one from a bronze to a silver and we're going with the middle linebacker that is Ryan Shazier and the reason I did that look at that speed 90 speed for a silver middle linebacker and has really good stats as well per 90 pursuit 72 block shedding so I'm excited to use Ryan Shazier and hopefully he'll actually play middle linebacker and then our last upgrade of this episode is going to come at the cornerback position because on defense, I think the most important position to upgrade first is your cornerbacks because when the opposition finally realizes that your corner sucks so bad, if they throw it deep, nine times out of ten, they're going to beat you deep for a touchdown. So, luckily the guy didn't really realize it too much, but we are using one upgrade in our last upgrade of the episode at the cornerback position. Once again, from a bronze to a silver, just trying to spread the love out and try to help the team in every single area first, and rather than, you know, putting all the upgrades toward one position. We've got to make the whole entire team better if we want to be a better team. And then from a bronze to a silver, Jamil Fleming to the silver cornerback. That is Bloody Ray Wilson from the Tennessee Titans. So we took out a Titans player and we bring in a Titans player. And good stats as well. A pretty decent upgrade from Jamil Fleming. There wasn't too many crazy options as silver run stuff cornerback. So maybe upgrading this position in next episode. But improvement is improvement. And I'll take whatever we can get. Anyways boys that does it for this first episode of Project Mariota. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if this video can get 140 likes. You guys were kind of slacking in the last episode of Tebow Time, but 140 likes you'll get the next episode of Project Mariota on Wednesday. Like I said, if you're new to this series, just be patient, watch a couple episodes, go maybe watch a couple of my old Road to Glory series, and you'll start to get the hang of things very quick. A lot of my viewers think this is the best series I've ever had, so if you're kind of confused, just give it a chance, and hopefully you will enjoy it like everybody else does. If I did leave anything out rules-wise in this video at the beginning, I will leave them in the description and in the comment section below, and if you're ever confused on the rules, I believe I have all the upgrade rules in the comments below in every single episode so go check them out but leave a comment in the comment section below with what positional unit you think i need to upgrade in next episode be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will catch you guys next time have a great rest of your day peace